Hey guys, Todd with Vapor Hunting Technologies. Today we are in front of one of our dry blast cabinets and we want to talk about different abrasives that can be used in dry blasts. Different machines out here, we have two different types of aluminum oxide. We have a 120 and a 220 aluminum oxide. Both are great for removing paint, for doing some deburring, any type of paint removal or even powder coat removal works great with the aluminum oxide. We've got glass bead in a machine that again is really great for polishing and shining up parts. We have other machines that have steel shot in them. We've got machines with soda. We've got machines with crushed glass in it. Crushed glass obviously probably one of the more abrasive cleaners that we actually use and it can be used to basically remove just about anything. Some others that we don't necessarily have on the floor right now, but corn cob, which is a very light abrasive. It's also very environmentally friendly. You can use that for very light deburring. It will do some paint removal, light paint removal, removing grease, mold, rust. It is kind of a one and done type of situation with the corn cob. And then you've got like walnut shell, which is still soft, but a little more aggressive than the corn cob. It can be used for removing carbon buildup, light carbon buildup on pistons, paint. It will do some light deburring. Like I said, it is a little harder substance. They all do come in different grit sizes, depending on what you're trying to do. If you have questions about that, you can call us. We'll be more than happy to walk you through it. All of the abrasives that I mentioned first, with the exception of corn cob and walnut shell, can also be used in our wet blasting cabinets. The walnut shell and corn cob actually swell up when they get into the water. So in wet blasting, that is not an option. But in dry blast it definitely is. If you have any questions or comments feel free to give us a call 828-202-5563. Thanks for watching.